timer clicking. I'm gonna do something real quick. You guys are doing great. Thank you very much. I'm rambling. Academy success advisors are here to help you with uh, academic planning. So it could be semester by semester, if you're planning to do an associate's degree, or it could be one semester advising if you're planning to do a certificate. And so you can successfully transfer to the for a university of your choice. So for their career, the certificate or associate's degree that they're planning to complete, we work with them developing a plan in order to become successful at COC. So we are here to help you with different resources that we provide here in COC, share market, the tutoring center, financial aid, uh, CAP, so those resources that are available for you too as well. A community resource advisor at the College of Lake County is here to help you with any challenges that you're experiencing outside of the classroom. And in doing so, we connect you to either on-campus resources or community resources. So sometimes uh, students uh, face difficulties during the semester. It could be for uh, several factors. We provide more like emergency funds. That's where mm -hmm. Emily comes in place. So to provide different types of services. And life happens very unexpectedly. Crises happens, emergency happens. And while your ASA is fantastic in addressing anything academic, they can't all answer all the questions. And I think that's why they turn to me in terms of those like personal life experiences, like housing insecurity or food insecurity, needing to apply to public aid, a variety of things that maybe is just outside the purview of what a college may normally have. And CLC saw that and that's why they wanted to kind of fill the gap because like I said, life happens and you need someone to kind of guide you through the process sometimes. Reaching out for help can be a very scary experience. What's important about doing so is that you're giving yourself your voice back. You're giving yourself the power to take action and change in your life for the better. If you don't advocate for yourself, who will do it? We are here to help mm -hmm. you. So we are here to guide you through the whole process. Yes, it's mm -hmm. going to be a scary, but you're going to have a, the support system that we already mm -hmm. have in place here at COC. So we are here for you. We are here to help you and don't be scared to seek for help. My name is Bridget Dimbleskis. I'm the manager of the tutoring centers. Um, I kind of oversee all the operations for our tutoring centers at the three campuses and online. We have several different areas within the center. We have writing, sciences, and math support. We do cover across the curriculum many classes that a student takes at CLC. We do offer course content tutoring for those courses. In addition to that, we offer consultations to help with skills that cut across multiple disciplines. For example, writing, study skills, technology skills, um, and then general math skills that you might not be in a math class, but you need to brush up on that for the class you are taking. It can work in a couple of different ways. You're totally welcome at any time to just stop by any one of our campus tutoring centers. Come in, chat with us, we'll help get you connected with a tutor. You're also able to make appointments, schedule those for yourself online using Navigate. You pick the day, the time, the location, the tutor, and it's easy. There are a lot of really cool kind of features in the system. The Tutoring Center is here to support students. And what's special about it is it's not one size fits all. It's very customized to individual students' needs. So if you think about buying jeans off the rack, that's not us. We're like custom fit. <laughs> Often I hear students say, when I say what would make you come to tutoring, they say if I'm failing, and I'm always like, no, 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 no. Come early, come often. Students who do visit tutoring tend to do better in their classes. So that idea that only bad students come to tutoring obviously isn't true because those who are coming are doing better than those who aren't. We have tutoring centers at all three campuses and then also online options. Almost all the students who come to tutoring actually love it. <laughs> um, we get a lot of feedback. They came to tutoring, they developed a relationship with one of the tutors, would come back, you know, but often they'll stop by my office too and tell me, I had one student who every time she took an exam, she'd come, she'd like bring me a copy of it and be like, look, I got a 98% and I'm like, awesome. Seeing students feeling like they've accomplished something, it's great. My name is Nika Wynarski. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and the Director of Counseling and Psychological Services here at the College of Lake County. We provide free, short-term uh, counseling services for students. 
Every enrolled CLC student is eligible, regardless of which uh, campus. So if they want to engage, they either have to call or just literally show up when we're open and say they're interested in services. And then in terms of identifying what's the best fit, you'll really work with your clinician to identify. Should well, I start with individuals? Should I go the group route? Maybe I should try a couple workshops or things like that just to get more comfortable with what I can expect from therapy. Um, it's tailored based on the needs and the comfort level of the client coming in. We use a variety of different treatments modalities, cognitive behavioral therapy, helping change the way people think, um, dialectical behavioral therapy, teaching them sort of how to process intense emotions in the moment, various relaxation, psychoeducation, which essentially is just a catch-all term for we like to teach people things about psychology. We also offer groups, so it's really the same kinds of things that you would learn in individual therapy, but in a group format. And we find that some people really benefit from knowing that they're not the only ones experiencing anxiety, depression, or whatever kind of stressor. All CAP staff are licensed therapists in the state of Illinois and all of our services are confidential so students can rest assured we have a completely separate documentation system from any student record here um, and when they come in we as psychologists have our own ethical standards that we have to follow um, so that ensures complete confidentiality. We only have to break confidentiality if there's a concern for risk and then obviously our number one job is to ensure that person's or other people's safety. So you're asking a psychologist who should go to therapy and of course I'm going to say everybody um, and I stand by that. I think that everybody can benefit from services. The length um, of service may vary from person to person but the one thing I think is really important and, and frankly is the best way to destigmatize mental health is to make it no different than getting an annual physical. Um, you don't need to be in a complete crisis situation as students will say well I wanted to wait until I really needed you. You don't need to do that. Um, and also, you don't really know when you might need support. So starting college and saying, you know what, maybe I just want somebody to talk to about the fact that I'm starting college and this is a transition in life, that's as great of a reason to come into therapy as I'm struggling in a class and I'm really anxious, as I'm having trouble with my partner, we're having communication challenges. All are very great reasons to come see a counselor. The CAP's number one goal on campus would be to build a community and to reduce stigma for mental health. I love working with students, I love working with my coworkers, I love working with faculty. I just think it's it's really, really rewarding. So actually on my first day of classes, I had a professor bring our class around the Willow Cafe and there was a table that said something like, are you looking for a job? And so I just walked up to the guy and I was like, I need a job, can you help me? And he was like, yes. That turned out to be the share market. The following day, I think, was the first day I was in share market. Each student gets to pretty much choose their own engagement, whatever level of engagement that each student wants or needs. So when people first arrive, they usually, they always ask, like, what do I need to do? And that's when I'm always like, nothing. Like, just sign your name, grab a bag, and take what you need. Always good responses. <laughs> when a student walks into share market, they sign their name. They can grab a basket if they want, little shopping baskets, literally. They just go up and down the aisles, whatever they want, from breakfast foods to canned foods to school supplies to produce to personal hygiene products. Out of all of these students who come into share market, I would say 70% just need like a snack or they forgot something and they're just grabbing it. And the other, uh, um, you know, 30%, there is some sort of like, I'm uncomfortable being here for that first time. And then, you know, hopefully throughout the experience, they realize that they don't have to feel that way. You know, everyone's welcome. We started with pickup orders and that was very popular, very, very popular. Students could just fill out the Google form and then the student gets a notification and then they can come pick it up. So I would say the typical response of a student when they find out about share market is disbelief. I've heard, you know, people in my class even, they'll be talking about like, hey, I just heard about this share market thing. It's like downstairs and you can just like grab things for free. People are like, no. And it, I, I want to jump in and be like, actually, yes, like that's totally free. I think share market helps students succeed um, in multiple ways. One, I think in order to succeed, you need to have, um, you know, nutrients. You have to, uh, you know, if you wake up and you're not eating, you don't eat dinner, it's going to be hard to focus. So that's one thing. Um, second, I think it helps students succeed because they realize that they have a whole community around them. And you're not just, you know, paying to be here, come to school 
learn and leave. Um, there are people here who want to help you and, and there is help available. And um, I think students, when they know that, they know like, oh, this isn't just some school, um, somewhere where like I'm wanted. And I think, you know, having that mindset, um, you know, I mean, that mindset kind of helps you, like, you want to do good here.